No, I'm in town square. I'm studying for a psychology test. And when I'm finished here, I'm gonna go over to school in a few minutes. Okay, well, um, I'll talk to you soon then. Bye. Austin, where are you? Oh my god. It's you. Like sand through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. Will you stop it? Listen to me, girl. You're not giving up. Not now. Not when Bo needs you the most. Yeah. Exactly. Bo's in critical condition fighting for his life. I can't even get a call through to him on the phone. I can't even tell him... I love him. I hate this. I hate being trapped here in this godforsaken place. I know. I know. I'm worried too, about Bo and, and about Marlena. But we gotta keep a level head here, otherwise we're never gonna get out. I think we should do what Stefano asks. Absolutely not! If we cooperate, he'll let us go. That's what he says. Do you trust him? Abigail. Austin, it's so funny running into you here in Town Square. What are you doing here? Abigail, you know I go for a cup of coffee every morning before I go to work. I need to talk to you. I love the coffee at the Brady Pub. It's my favorite. Stop trying to avoid the conversation, Abigail. I'm not. Here, have a seat. What happened between us was a mistake. I was hurt, I was confused. I thought my marriage was over. Really? Because it didn't feel like a mistake, Austin. Abigail, I'm a married man. I'm in love with Carrie. If you didn't love me, Austin, then why did you make love to me? We will return for the second half of Days of Our Lives in just a moment. What choice do I have? What, I, I can't stay here? Not when Bo is fighting for his life. What's the matter? I keep thinking about Graham, John. Ever since she passed, I, I feel like she's still with me. I know it sounds crazy, but sometimes I think that opening her safety deposit box was the wrong thing to do. Knowing what she went through for so many years to hide that secret. Putting her faith in Stefano de Mera. Oh, it makes me so mad, John. Sometimes I, ju I just want to scream. Damn it, girl. Let it out. Ah! Uh, More! Ah! Uh, Do you feel better? No. I won't feel better until I'm back home with Bo. He needs to hear me. He needs to hear my voice in order to wake up. I don't care what it takes. I'm getting back home to him, John. I'm getting back home to Salem. Shh. Abigail. No, Austin, you don't have to lie. It's okay. I can tell by the way you kiss my underage lips that you really do love me. Besides, Carrie hasn't been there for you. She's been too busy shacking up with Rafe. And when she finds out about us... When? When she finds out about us? Carrie cannot find out about us ever, please. Austin, once she knows the truth about us, we can finally move on with our lives. And I can finally be Mrs. Abigail Austin. <sighs> Abby, you are an amazing girl, woman, and... One day you're gonna find that amazing guy who's gonna sweep you off your feet 
and you're gonna live happily ever after. I know. You know? I've known for a while now. It's you, Austin. It's been you all along. <laughs> 